Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly, and we'd like to thank all of our new subscribers. Mm -hmm. And so those great. of you who have not subscribed, all you gotta do is click on that little tiny logo on the right so hand easy. side, bam, and you're subscribed. Yes, and guess what? We are back with part two with Jeff Sinini of Celebrity Talent Booking. Let's, Let's get, get buzzed. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. What is the difference, if any, between like a big USA con versus maybe a UK or some other con in some other country? The difference as far as... Are there uh, any differences? Like, like, are they bigger here, better US here, or bigger talent, or are they the same? They're, on the base level, they're the same. Okay. But what's different is what's, what's popular or what's cool in that country. I see. Mm -hmm. Like, what's, what's current and what's hot in the U.S.? Might not, we were just in Kuwait. Yeah. And in Kuwait, it wasn't about American TV. It wasn't even, I mean, movies obviously are the same, but... It was more about video games. Mm -hmm. So all they wanted to know was video games. They wanted video game people because they're really into playing video games. Right. So, you know, for voice actors, that's a great tool to go over there. But if we were to go to another country, voice actors, are, it's tougher to translate because now they want the voice actors in that language. I see. Right, so, right. you know, that's where you have to differentiate between voice actors and on camera in that scenario. Because right. if you're an on-camera actor, obviously you can go anywhere because it's still your face even yeah. if they dub your voice. Right, yeah. right. But when we go to London, same thing. We're actually going to the London show in, in, uh, in May yeah. and it's 100,000 people. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know what? Yeah, this show is popular, this isn't. And that's the first thing we have to do is establish what's good for them. Right. So that, that's the major difference. Other than that, they all run relatively the same. Yeah. yeah the, the, actually, I take that back. The one big difference in, in uh, the UK, yeah. they don't like taking pictures at the table, like a selfie. Really? Uh -huh. the, they said that that's not something that is paid for, and they didn't like doing that. So it's all professional photographs. Oh. Wow. And this May is the first time that they're going to change that. Wow. So it's something new, and you they're heard it here first. They're getting with the wow, style, that's baby. a big deal. Yeah. So uh, obviously you don't just wait for promoters to, to call you and say, hey, no. so how do you stay current and relevant to what's hot, the games, the shows, the films? How do you stay present to what's going on out there and what is... Because obviously you're pitching your clients. It's not just waiting. Yeah. You're really hardcore pitching your people. So how do you keep up with what's going on? Well, what I do is I surround myself with people who really, really, really know the pulse of what's going on and what's hot. All Beautiful. the different genres. Oh, yeah. yeah. Be between, you know, I, I've, got, um, I've got this guy, V, who really knows anime. I've got Sydney and Brett who kind of know, you know, what cartoon or what movie or what's the next hot show. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got Gwen, and, and she helps with, you know, who's the right person for this place. And I've got Nick who's, oh, you know, this show is, is, is I think it's coming up soon. This is going to be popular. Yeah. And I've got all these people that really know what's going on, you know? And yeah. as far as that goes, we, honestly, the easiest way to know what's hot is when we get the inquiries and mm -hmm. they tell us, you know, we want this. And we when you this, constantly this, hear the right. same yeah. names, right. yeah. yes. because I could love something, but maybe it's not what is hot right now in Comic-Con. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to weigh that out. And it really depends because having the right people to tell you who to push yeah. is great. Yeah. But it having- leaves you free to really advocate for your clients because right. you can't be doing everything everywhere. So this No, is you and, and when we're, we're sending emails and flyers and our website is up and it's constantly pushing yeah. the promoters to say, hey, we have these people. Yeah. And then it's up to us to say, okay, what are you looking for? Oh, you're looking for Star Wars. Okay, right. well, here's who we have from that. So many people that I know that are in the animation or video game world and, you, and that you know too, mm -hmm. and that we all know, they wanna be able to do these cons right. because not only are they profitable, but they're so much fun, right? Mm -hmm. And and uh, so what is somebody, what are some prerequisites that somebody needs to comply with in order for them to be repped by the man? Well. <laughs> There's a lot of things to we take talk, into consideration. We talk to everybody, I yeah. mean, I don't, I don't ever tell somebody, hey, you know what, we can't work with you. What it is, is it's varying levels of where they're going to fit in. You know, we represent people who just started. We represent people who've been in the business for 50 years. It, it's a broad spectrum. What is out of our control 
is what credits do they bring to the table? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, you could be on the hottest game or the hottest show in the world, and you might get there by association, but if you're one of the, the top, you know, IMDB, if you're one of the top people or characters, that's what's gonna get you the show. Right. That part, we don't have control of. You know, I tell everybody, go to your agents, your theatrical agents, your promo agents, your commercial agents, whoever you go into to get those real jobs, those jobs, if they fit the Comic-Con genre, you know, the sci-fi, or if you fly a ship, or you know, you're a wizard, or if you have special powers, right. or you fight dragons, or any mm -hmm. of that stuff, it'll translate. Right. I mean, I go to shows, and I've seen Academy Award-winning actors, and they're sitting at their table like this because they didn't have that role that translated to Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you have somebody who did a guest spot on a sci-fi show that's really popular, like Walking Dead. Right. You can have a zombie number five, and they're gonna show up at Comic-Con, and there's gonna be a line of people that wanna meet them and really? talk about what it's like on the set. Yes, yes, It's yeah. It's really, and I tell everybody that, it, it's a wonderful world, but it's not like, it, in the real world, you know, you've got your Brad Pitt, your Tom Cruise as these movie stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the Comic-Con world, they're not, as popular. And it's yeah. not always who you think. Well, and also, I think it's like an, any agency. You know, you're not doing a service to an actor, having them on your roster, and not being able to get them out anywhere. I mean, it's like right. you have to you have to make that hard decision, which I know isn't always easy, but sometimes it's timing, right? It's all timing. I mean, and it's hard, because sometimes you have people on your website that are, and we like to change our website every, every so mm -hmm. often. We like to put new names up, take names off. And I mean, it, it, there's no rhyme or reason. Um, a little bit, you know, Overwatch is hot. Let's have Overwatch names up, you know. Right, right. Or this isn't. And we and we rotate them so that way when people keep coming on our site, it's a fresh look. Right. Beautiful. But and that know. site, by the way, is Celebrity Talent Booking right there, lower third. Absolutely. Um, book Market. Also, you can find Jeff on Twitter, CTV Social, and at Jeff Zanini. Um, so back in 2016, we had our 200th Vio Buzz Weekly live show, which was bananas. It was awesome. Mm. And we gave the audience, as one of the panels, a taste of your creation, Twisted Tunes. My baby. It was so fantastic. Um, those of you that don't know what Twisted Tunes is, I mean, like, get out from under the rock and go yep. to YouTube. Go to YouTube Subscribe to the now. channel, Twisted Tunes with a Z. Um, Always with a Z. Yes, Jeff, Z Nini. <laughs> um, what was the inspiration for creating this fabulous little vehicle? The truth is, knowing all of these guys for years, you know, the, again, Jess, Rob, I'm a broken record, but knowing yes. these guys forever, being around them, you hear the funniest things they do, and Chuck, mm -hmm. you're doing impressions, when you hear the stuff they say, yeah. mm -hmm. off record, it's hysterical, you're in Absolutely. tears. Yeah. So uh, my brain, being twisted, when, wow, imagine <laughs> getting a platform for these guys to do that in front of fans who are dying to hear this stuff. Right, right. And I pitched it for three years. And every con now, no one's going to come out to see that. Mm -hmm. And then to the credit of uh, Jim Demonakis, who no longer owns Emerald City Comic Con, but Emerald City, he said, I, I said, don't pay me if we don't succeed. I didn't even finish the sentence. He said, you can have the big room. Yay! So we got the big room. And, you know, the only thing he didn't do for me was he wrote, voice actors on stage. That was our billing in the program. <laughs> voice actors on stage. <laughs> and I was like, you couldn't Five. help me at all? No one even knew what we were doing. 5,000 people showed up for that. Mm. For we, so it used to be called voice actors on stage. Yeah. yeah. I walked and on stage <laughs> and 5,000 people are cheering. And I go, do you guys know why you're here? Yeah. I, mean, I wish the beginning of that clip was online. Yeah. And everyone's like, well, well, well voice oh, yeah. actors. I said, we're going to read Star Wars. The place went bananas. And then we went, and uh, if you can go on YouTube and watch it, but they, they we read the movie. Yeah. And it was, within 30 days, we had a million hits. Mm -hmm. Within 60 days, it was 2 million hits. And then Lucasfilm said, hey, yeah. um, we're going to pull that. Copyright. And I had to go through the whole thing to say, it's not. It was a free panel at a Comic-Con. Right. And they put it back up, and it went back to 2 million hits. And then it got mm -hmm. pulled by... Somebody else and I posted it back up on our site, so now it's there permanently. But it was, you know. So basically, explain for people the concept of it. The concept is we take a movie, a script that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, Star Wars. It's we just did Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Willy Wonka. Back to the future. Something that you yeah. can picture in your head. Mm -hmm. And I rewrite the script so we're not copyright infringing. We right. I change it. See, that's you getting smarter every that's time. There you go. Look at him. He learns like a, very quickly, ladies and gentlemen. He's like a gentlemen. scholar. This one. So, 
I take it and I take the 25 pages of scene direction and cut it to three sentences. That's the narration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, every two to three pages, I cast all the characters in the scene. So in scene one, Darth Vader is played by Winnie the Pooh. You know, right. uh, Princess Leia is Christopher Walken. And we go through all the impressions and all the voices these guys do. And every three pages, we stop, recast. So in an hour and a half... So You're hearing 50, 60 different voices mm -hmm. from these guys. And anyone who came into the panel and they loved uh, Jess, all of a sudden, they're like, oh, my God, I didn't know Rob did that. And if they love right. Rob, they go, oh, my God, I didn't know Maurice did that. And then they go, oh, my God, I didn't know Jim did And all of a sudden, you're crossing all these yeah. fan bases. It yeah. only makes everybody yeah. better. Yeah. yeah. And my favorite line for that is everyone's like, oh, you know, it's yours, it's yours. I am the ringleader. So yeah. when you go to the circus, I'm the ringleader. No one's there to see the ringleader. Yeah. They're there to see the animals. Right. And my voice actors are the animals. You got some <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's good. And they're that's some good. fabulous animals. Yes, and they're amazing yes. to watch. And, and they're so fun. It's like I, it's I have to say that I've seen a so Twisted Tunes live at a con yes. at a, so in, a, in a big room. And I was freaking, um, it was like going to an ACDC concert. I yes. swear to God. <laughs> yes. It was like so freaking <laughs> nuts, man. Those yeah. guys are so loud and screaming. They're I mean, crazy. it's like the Beatles. Yeah. You know? It's We're, like when the Beatles came to the U.S., and, man. And every time you do it, depending on where you are, sometimes, I mean, you have, you know, Rob and Jesse. I mean, they're like the greatest kids, right? We have a nice right? rotating. But you have different actors every time. If you go time. online, they're different all the time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you'll see yeah. some similar faces, but you'll see that they rotate every mm -hmm. show. Some are on YouTube, some aren't. Some places have video cameras, some yep, don't. Yep. Right. But we play in... On average, four thousand people. Yeah. Salt Lake, yeah, seven thousand. Yeah, we just so did. Uh, um, they changed Emerald City to accommodate almost sixty five hundred for us. We just did Chicago. We debuted Ferris Bueller. There was, I think, thirty five hundred, yeah. something like Amazing. that. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, the the biggest part of it is the improv. Yeah. You yeah. know, these guys are up there, and people go, "Oh yeah, you know, they're voice actors. They read scripts. The improv." Yeah. is what I want the most of. And the playing off each other is Absolutely. Oh, brilliant. And they're there to see the mistakes. The yes. mistakes are the best part. Totally. When they when they screw up the line or they yeah. read the wrong, and everyone's going, wait a minute, that's sure. The improv is the biggest. Yeah, because fans is don't realize know, how much amazing. work these guys and right. girls do right. when they're behind the glass. Yeah. yeah. Not so they just basically, reading, people. All the animals Not just basically reading. make the uh, ringleader look good. <laughs> yeah. I only, do, 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 I only do, do, sit in the middle do, 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 so I can be on do, do, camera. Do, do. I mean, I, I'm just up there going, okay, you, you. And, and a lot of that is this live. This way you're in the middle. You can go, hey, yeah. stop it. Stop. Uh, um, well, congratulations on that. Thank it you very much. It is a really, really thank wonderful you. thing for, for the actors that are on it and for, the, obviously, the audience. Um, Absolutely. So, Jeffo, yes. what is the ultimate goal for you and your company? The ultimate goal. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's what a do big you, question. What do you, what yeah. do you like to go from like, here, Like, where Jeff? do you see, like, what, when you think about, like, what do you still want to accomplish? What do you want to, how you want to expand? What are you thinking? Well, I I will always, near and dear to my heart, are the voice actors. Just because mm -hmm. I they're friends. I've known them forever. And I yeah. love working with them because it's easy. It's low maintenance. It's yeah. fun. They're great people. They're wonderful. I love, they're like family. Mm -hmm. But as far as in this world, what you obviously want is you want, I want, well, Kari Payton. I want one of them to land a big role on The Walking Dead, you know, yeah. or, or, you know, be the next Avenger, or because, you know, at, in this world, as they get those roles, obviously their paydays get bigger, and in turn, the company's payday gets bigger, and we get to grow, and as we grow, we get to hire more people. Mm -hmm. The more people we can, I'd love to have a place where we can, you know, employ these folks yeah. and have a great little company that provides services to all of these. It's it's it, it's it's nice. It's fun, and and, and as long as it stays fun, I want to keep doing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and obviously one day you'd love to have the opportunity for your kids or be able to hand something down and say, you know, here's something we built. You know, yeah. and it, it's it's the the goal is obviously to maintain. I'm, I'm basically eternally unemployed. I'm eternally unemployed. I'm always <laughs> looking for work. Yeah, you know, yes, you guys, as are. you guys know, yes. as every other. That's the business. But it keeps it exciting. Yeah. yeah. So you're yeah. always like, am I going to pay the bills next month? Yeah. And you're always hoping the promoter yeah. calls you yeah. back and you book more yeah. shows. Yeah. That's, well, man, I got to tell you, dude. I always believe you'll always land on your feet. It totally. always works out. And, it and, works and we are out. so proud of you, man, because well, because you could say whatever you want, and it's like you know, in this world. Anything worthwhile is going to take work, and you know all the people that want to get into the voiceover business that want to, oh yeah, I want to make some quick, easy money, mm. never end up making a dime. Um, you, when you went into this business, you were, you, you didn't care about how hard you had to work. You know what no, I mean? Never. You were blind to the effort, and which is why 
you've built just gigantic freaking business and we're so proud of you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. And yeah. listen, if you can do it and just like the talent that you represent. And actually, I was, that's what I was going to say. It's something I said earlier about it being, you know, how hard it is to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that, that actually, I, I should reverse that and say, you know what, it is hard. But being hard shouldn't be something that stops you. Yes. You should try harder. Yes. You know, and, and the Absolutely. greatest quote, and I'm not even going to try, is Rocky, believe it or not, <laughs> Rocky Balboa. Da, no. da, 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 yes. da, 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 when he gives da, a speech da, da, to his da, son da, da, about da, da, life is going to knock you down. Yes. Yep. And it's not about how many times you get knocked down, it's about how many times you get up. Exactly. Absolutely. And I tell my kids that every single day. Yes. And, yeah. and to yes. all those kids that are doing that and are doing that art and doing that work, that, that it is going to be hard and yeah. the yes. road will be. But you know what? It, you just persevere. And, it, yes. and when someone says no, you go around them to the person that's going to say yes. And yes. eventually, someone's going to say yes. Yes, Absolutely. and because I will, I will piggyback on that, that there is no such thing as failure. Because no. every time you get knocked down and you, and you choose to get back up, you've won. It's, it's when you don't get back up. Every right? no is an opportunity to yes. a yes. And yes. That's, how, that's how I took those phone calls. That's how I take this business. So here's a mystery question. Oh, boy. Now, Chuck it's... always says, read it in your best character voice, but um, <laughs> read it in your best Do manager voice. Do I just take from the voice. front? Wherever you wherever, want. Wherever, in the middle, like, wherever I'm, you I'm want. I'm going to be daring. I'm going to go to the middle of the All box. Right, there, there you go. go. There you go. All right. Do you want me to read it You to don't you? have to read it in a character voice, buddy. You could just read it you as... You just asked me this question. See? This what? This always happens. See? Wow. I get a free pass. I always what? get... What's the question? What remains undone that you've wanted to get done for years? Growing the business, I just answered okay, what, what we want to do. Do you want to add anything else to that personally, or? I'd like to have a house in Hawaii. Oh. Ooh. How's that for a life goal? So that your friends can go visit. You know that I will, have I will cook, stay as long you know, as they cook, like. I will, I will cook build a room. For I will replicate this without having room to pay with the a studio fee? audience, <laughs> and I will bring you all. Up. That would be my dream. Would be to have my friends all in one island together. <laughs> I love it. Oh. And you know I'll cook for you. Let's make that I would happen, love that. baby. I love that. I've had your cooking. I like Let's that. Let's make that happen. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. You Absolutely, are always dude. welcome. And here. by the way, so... I couldn't be more proud of you guys. Oh, thank you. Because I remember when you were just a little guitar player, yeah. and you were a girl with stars in her eyes, hoping to work for Disney. One Running day. around Disney. <laughs> and I, yeah. I am. Every time I watch your show, I'm just. I am beaming with pride. Well, thank, thank you, man. You, and thank you, and thank you for all the recommendations. Because so yeah. I know that you and Jess Harnell and a lot of other people at these cons have our little cards. Yeah. You know, there yep. and tell people, oh, I want to know about more about how do how do I get into voiceover? Here lot. you go. Thank we so we put them it's on the free. tables and, and just every panel that we do yeah. and any fan out there that's been to our panels, <laughs> you know when they say, what do I need to do? We say, watch the VO buzz. You've yeah. got literally 200 plus hours yeah. of the best information you can get from the best people. Thanks. And another great site is I want to be a voice actor.com. That's D Bradley Baker. Yes. That's right. So those yes. are my staples. Those two, pa every Thank panel, you. I always mention those two. Jeff Sinini, ladies and gentlemen, right there. He is the man. Uh, excuse Thank me, you. Mr. Sinini, sir. I didn't know if you wanted me to pull oh. up your car for you out front. I've got it right out there waiting for you. Six, we have serious oh. fam. We have Jess Harnell Jess in the Harnell. house. No, I'm just working for him. And, now. Just oh my in God. In the middle of the interview. Is this your Dude. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'll be waiting outside. Are you moonlighting as an LA? You got, no, wait a minute. You've been looking for a job. Oh, call me up. We, just fi we just fired him. I mean, seriously. He, he can't. Uh, he, he, you know what? I'm ready. My prediction for 2018. Yes. Jess Harnell's career is going to take off. Oh, my God. One of these days. That yes. kid's going to yes. make right? it. Yes. One of these oh days. Keep him on your roster. I think it's going to be gonna, okay. I'm going to keep pushing him. Yeah, he's a good guy. Jeff, thank we you for thank you for, for being here with us, man. Well, we thank really you guys very much. I love both of you. Jesse, thank you for your cameo. Thank you, Jesse. And hey, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. My name is Jeff Zanini, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. And if I can tell you one piece of advice, don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do what you want. Your dreams are yours. Don't let anyone tell you different. Well, that concludes both parts <laughs> yes. with Jeff Zanini of Celebrity Talent Bookie. Isn't that cool that we get to find out how those people that you go see at cons actually get booked and what yes. goes on behind there? Yes, and it's so wonderful to see a longtime friend succeed. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And that goes to show you, man, there's nobody what you're doing in life, because obviously Jeff come, came from like doing all kinds of regular things yeah. like all of us have, and you go from one thing and all of a sudden you end up somewhere else, yeah. but because you went for it. And, and you I find love your that. passion. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You guys freaking rock. We're going to see you next week with some more episodes. We will, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to leave your comments below. We love you guys. Thanks for watching, and just remember, you, you always have, have time for a little buzz. buzz. The 
Show Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demos That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.